Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Josephat, Bishop and Martyr. And in this Mass, we pray for the grace of wisdom that leads to unity. Let us now call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to give us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled St. Josephat as he laid down his life for the sheep so that through his intercession, we too may be strengthened by the same Spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. All men were by nature foolish who were in ignorance of God, and who from the good things seen did not succeed in knowing Him who is. 
and from studying the works did not discern the artisan. But either fire or wind or the swift air or the circuit of the stars or the mighty water or the luminaries of heaven, the governors of the world, they considered gods. Now if out of joy in their beauty they thought them gods, let them know how far more excellent is the Lord than this. For the original source of beauty fashioned them. Or if they were struck by their might and energy, let them from these things realize how much more powerful is he who made them. For from the greatness and the beauty of created things, their original author, by analogy, is sin. But yet, for this the blame is less. For they indeed have gone astray, perhaps, though they seek God and wish to find Him. For they search busily among His works, but are distracted but by what they see because the things seen are fair. But again, not even these are pardonable. For if they so far succeeded in knowledge that they could speculate about the world, how did they not more quickly find its Lord? The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. They pours out the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building. On the day when Lot left Sodom, Fire and brimstone rained from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them. And likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you, on that night, there will be two people in one bed. 
one will be taken, the other left. And there will be two women grinding meal together, one will be taken, the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there also the vultures gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, these past days, we have been following in our first reading the Book of Wisdom. And this is one grace that we should ask God to give us, the grace of wisdom, the grace to be truly wise, especially in our times, especially the, in the realities of our world and our society. We really need wisdom. We need to be wise. Wisdom is not simply intelligence. Ang karunungan ay hindi katalinuhan. Magkaiba yung matalino sa marunong. A person who is intelligent means that that person knows many things. Marami siyang alam, kaya matalino siya. But not all intelligent persons are automatically wise. Hindi dahil matalino, marunong. Maraming matalino, maraming maraming alam ang hindi naman marunong. They may be intelligent, but they lack wisdom. Wisdom is the capacity to see beyond the things that we know. Ang karunungan, hindi mo lang alam, kundi nababasa mo ang mga bagay Nakikita mo ang mga katotohanan sa likod ng iyong mga alam. Marami tayong alam, pero nakikita ba natin ang mga bagay at katotohanan sa likod ng ating alam? When we are able to do that, then we are truly wise. In our first reading today, we are told that all men were by nature foolish who were in ignorance of God and who from the good things seen did not succeed in knowing Him who is and from studying the works did not discern the artisan. That means that those who see a thing but does not see beyond that thing is foolish. To be wise is to look at the creature and see not only the creature but the Creator. To be wise is to look at the gift and see not only the gift, but the giver of the gift. We see beyond what is visible, what is tangible, and what is concrete. That is wisdom. And this is also the same point that Jesus wishes to make in our gospel today, 
the people during the time of Noah ate, drank, and enjoyed life. And the people during the time of Lot also did the same. They were all focused on the good things this world offers. They were all engrossed with the world, the created world, and all the happiness that they could bring. That is not bad at all. Because God gave this world to us and all its blessings for us to use and to enjoy. But we must not be stuck only on this world. We must look beyond. That as, as we enjoy the things and the blessings of this world, we see God in each one of them, in each one of us. The problem with the people during the time of Noah and the time of Lot was that they lacked wisdom. They did not see God. And so, they ended up destroyed. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of St. Joseph. And he exemplifies for us the importance of wisdom especially in the work of unity. St. Josaphat was born in 1580 and he was raised in, a, in an Ukrainian Orthodox family. This church was not in full communion with Rome. Later on, St. Josaphat converted to the Eastern churches that were in full communion with Rome. He became a monk, and later he became a bishop. And he dedicated his whole life in the work of unity. He wanted those who belong to the Orthodox Church to be in full communion with Rome. But of course, many were not pleased at what he was doing. And so he was killed. He was martyred. He is considered as a martyr of unity because he worked for church unity. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, unity and wisdom go hand in hand because unity is possible only for those who are wise enough to see beyond the differences because wisdom enables us to see beyond our differences and enables us to see that there are many things that could unite us. Unity and wisdom work together. Without wisdom, we will never be united. My dear brothers and sisters, today let us ask for the grace of wisdom that comes only from God. Let us be wise so that we may see beyond the things of this world. Let us be wise so that we could see the greater things that await us. Let us be wise so that we may always fix our gaze on God. May God give us His mind. May God make us wise. Please stand.
At the end of time, God will send His angels to gather His chosen ones in His kingdom. As we pray for all human needs, we ask God that we may be found ready to face Him on His return. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may attract peoples and nations towards the way of salvation by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian believers may proclaim their faith in eternal life and realize the everlasting dimension of our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may prepare ourselves for the coming of the kingdom by constantly living in truth, honesty, and charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That victims of oppression and abuses may find true healing, and that they may finally attain justice, freedom, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may rise to the glory of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, we do not know the hour of your coming, but we are certain that your love will never fail us. Keep us vigilant in hope, and may we welcome you now in our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that St. Josephat professed by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Josephat, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed, Blessed is he, is he who, who comes, comes in, in the, the name, name of, of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Josephat, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Josephat's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, let us part.